word suffrage means the right to vote. Today, everyone 18 and older can vote in an election. It hasn't always been this way. Throughout history, some people have not been allowed to vote because of their age, the color of their skin, how much money they had, and if they were a woman or not. Just over 100 years ago, only men in our country were allowed to vote. Women could not. There were a lot of people that didn't think this was very fair. In 1848, a group of women that wanted a right to vote met in New York. The leaders were Elizabeth Stanton and Lucreta Mott. They started the National Women's Suffrage Association and wanted a vote that would include women. They wore the colors purple, white, and green and made buttons, banners, and sashes with the words votes for women on them. The women would march down the streets holding signs. In 1914, World War I began and life for women became very different. Because men would be off fighting in the war, women went to work in factories and spent more time away from home. When the war ended, many more people thought that women should be able to vote since they had worked so hard during the war, doing many of men's jobs. Finally, after almost 70 years, a great moment happened. On August 26, 1920, the Constitution of the United States ratified with the 19th Amendment, giving all women and men over the age of 18 the right to vote. This year is the 100th anniversary of this important event. It is good that all people have the right to vote.